Hey guys, we are here with another interesting concept about how to read XLX file using the Python pandas library. For example, I have this Excel file. This Excel file in sheet number 3, I have ID column, name column, age column and certain data I have. So how do I read this data and show it in Python? So let's see how this is done in Python. First of all, I am going to import the pandas library as and I am going to give it a alias name. You can give any name. So I am giving pd. Now once the alias name is given, I would like to first see where the file is located. Okay, So I am going to say create a variable called file path equals to and in this file path, I would like to save the location of the excel file. For that, I am hitting the shift key right click and then copy as path i'll go to the pycharm and i'm going to paste done now what is this file path variable contains the location now the problem when you execute this kind of a syntax you can see there is an error which has appeared on my screen saying codec cannot decode bytes so it's not able to recognize and you know the reason why it is happening because of the slash like you write slash n for new line. So this is an escape character. Now to ensure to avoid this error, I am using a keyword called r so that this escape character will be termed as a regular string rather than an escape character. So I am writing another r. Now if I am going to execute, there should not be any kind of error. Okay, so you can see code exit, exit code 0. That means everything ran successfully has come. Great. After this, I am going to create a variable uh, called a equals to and I am using the pandas library. So I have created an alias. So I am using pd dot and there is a method called read excel. What is the method? Read excel and here where is the excel file? The excel file is there in file path. Done. Now if I am going to run this particular code, what is going to happen? Is it going to read the data properly? Let me print it. So print a. Now if I am going to execute this code, is it going to print the entire excel in python? No, it can. you can see empty data frame column index. Why it is happening? Because your excel can contain multiple sheets. So here you can see I have contained, you know, it, it contains multiple sheets. So it do does not understand from where I should read the data. So I have to give this column name, right? So the column name is sheet 3 where I have the data and I would like to read the data. So let's go to PyCharm and here I am going to put a comma and the sheet name that I would like to pass. So sheet is sheet 3, right? So I am simply saying sheet 3. Now it understands I need to go to this file path and pick the sheet 3 and then read the data and put it in the variable A. Now if I am going to run this code, you can see the data has appeared. So it has printed the data. If you see it properly, it has printed the data. But what is the problem here? If you see, there is something called 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The index numbers are also coming. Let's say I would like to avoid the index number while printing. What I can do? I can do a dot to string. I can write dot to string. And here I can say index equals to false. Okay. Now if I write this way and going to run this, if you see, the output after reading the data won't contain the index numbers. So you can see how it has printed nicely without any kind of index number. So that's the learning of the video. So thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again with a lot many interesting contents. So do not forget to like our contents that you are watching on our channel and do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it. Thank you guys for watching. Let's meet once again.